I got a cat here with me today. When I was dating my narcissist that I was with for six and a half years, he made all kinds of crazy rules for our relationship. One of those rules actually involved this cute little kitty. We might be sitting down in our living room just having like a very normal conversation. And if any of our cats walked in the door and if I at all looked over at them or if they jumped up on my lap and I started petting them or at all just like acknowledged their existence, there was something wrong with me according to him. He would be like, Pay attention, pay attention, clap, or like snap, like, like how dare I at all. Get remotely distracted by anything else in the room that might be happening if the narcissist is speaking. And I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I totally was listening to what you were saying, but just like petting the cat for a second. He'd be like, there, there, you're just being difficult. I know your insides better than you do. And then he'd moan and groan about like how I long to have a conversation with somebody who's actually capable of having conversations. It would just sort of like be this crazy taunting and like aggression over me just like, oh, a cat just jumped up next to me. Let me pet her really quick. But narcissists are also really jealous of not only your children, but also pets. So the reason I bring this up is because narcissists will set rules that they themselves don't have to follow in a relationship. If a cat jumped up next to me and I wanted to pet her, I was not allowed to pet the cat because then, you know, clearly I'm in, you know, crazy land as a crazy person. I'm incapable of having conversations just because I'm also petting a cat. It's ridiculous. But if the exact same thing happened to him, so a cat jumps up next to him, he starts petting her. And if I said, hey, I thought that we were trying to have a conversation here. I thought that we weren't petting cats. He would get aggressive at me and he would say, I'm not the one who has a problem in this area. You do. I, I can't even explain to you how many rules and how many double standards and just how many of these that there are. And yes, this is an example with my narcissistic ex. I happen to date men. Of course, there are women that behave like this as well. I feel like I'm getting a lot of uh, trolls lately brown like and women too of course anyone who has narcissistic personality disorder no matter what their gender is should get this stuff in check but as stories like these where you tell these to your friends and your family members and you're like I feel like I'm being abused and you tell them that story and they're like well I mean just sort of sounds like he's being a jerk yeah of course you should be able to pet the cat when you're having a conversation what they don't understand is the context around all of that is that this is a consistent conversation that is happening all the time and not just this topic but thousands of other topics and this is just one little tiny example in like a little like you're just sort of cutting out a little tiny sliver so you can see a little bit of what's going on here that's why it's really 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 hard to explain to people just what it feels like to be abused by a narcissist is because you have to be able to see the whole picture and you can't just look at it in little bite-sized chunks like that.